Hey, it's Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I have something really special for you. I want to introduce you to our brand new pitching instructor here at Ultimate Baseball Training, Coach Zach. Coach Zach is currently a professional pitcher in the Los Angeles Angels organization, and I can't wait for him to share some of his knowledge with you. So in today's video, we're going to get into six steps to pitch like a pro. He's going to break down every single component to pitching mechanics. So without further ado, I want to introduce you to Coach Zach. Let's jump right into it. How are we doing, guys? It's Coach Zach. Just like Coach Justin said, we're going to be breaking down the six steps to pitch like a pro today. We're going to be going to the mechanic side of pitching, breaking down every single component there is to it. Let's get into it. First thing we're gonna do is talk about our stance, where we set up on the mound when we go to pitch. You know, you can be on the first base side or the third base side. You really have to tell by your pitches, you know, what's gonna be more effective, more deceptive for your pitches. So if you're a big slider guy and a big cutter guy, you know, you wanna be on the third base side just to make your pitches look a little more deceptive. I'm a big sinker and change up guy, so I'm gonna get on the first base side to utilize my movement to a right-handed batter. Uh, the first step that we're gonna talk about today is just the basic rocker step. You know, wherever you wanna go, you can go back or you can go side. So whatever it makes, whatever feels comfortable for you and can make you be more effective with your leg lift, that's what you need to be doing. So for me, I always go back. Um, if you have a problem with your balance point on your leg lift, you can go more side, because what we don't want is for you to be going back and having too much momentum and not being able to control that. And you hear the term often swinging the gate. And that's what we kind of, that, that's what that leads to. So we go back and we don't have enough balance to really control ourselves at this point and can make everything in our delivery be rushed and ultimately lead to worse pitches. Uh, the next two are kind of go hand in hand with each other. So once we've got our rocker step down, you know, if we're going back or we're going to the side, then we can move on to our pivot, with our pivot on the rubber. The common notion is that you have to be parallel with the rubber. And really, in fact, that's not true. You do have to be touching the rubber, but if you have more power by pushing off on the ball of your foot or the heel of your foot, put that on the rubber so you're really pushing off and driving down the hill. So once we got our pivot down, we're going to go into our leg lift. And you hear a lot of times, oh, you need to find a true balance point. And I'm here to tell you that's not true. While you do want to be in a controlled position, you never want to truly stop because that's going to that's going to erase all the momentum we just we just gained from our rocker and our pivot step. So with this, we want to be in a controlled position so we really have a chance to utilize that back leg and go down the hill. So now that we have our, our leg lift down and we got the first three steps to our pitching motion down, now we get into the most important thing in our stride. We want to be striding straight towards the plate. You often see guys, you know, throwing across their body or flying open, and that's just going to decrease your velocity and the effectiveness of your pitches. So we want to make sure we're going straight. So when we come back and we got a rocker step one, our pivot step two, and find that controlled position step three, we want to make sure we're going straight. And how we do that is, you know, you can draw a line if you want, or really just utilizing that lead hip and pushing down the hill and using that back leg to really get out there in your stride. So what I like to do for me is when I come here, instead of just kind of falling and letting my momentum go that way, I like to kind of sink down that back hip and really drive. Because when we're just falling, we don't utilize any of the power and torque that we just gained in this back leg. So we want to come here, once we get to our pivot, and come up, be in a control position, not a pause, and really kind of sink in and let that hip go, and making sure we're getting down the hill. A common thing you see in a bad stride is a short stride. And when you short stride, that does not allow your arm to get up in time, which can lead to a lot of injuries and your arm being late. So you really want to make sure you're driving down the hill just to give your arm enough time to get up. So when we land, we want to be around that position. Even if you're a little, you know, a 45 degree angle, it's better than being down. The next step I want to talk about is our landing. And you hear the term hip to shoulder separation all the time. 
So what does that even mean? What is hip to shoulder separation and how can it benefit you? So when we land, we want to be up with our arm like we just mentioned, but we want our hips and our shoulders to be pointed towards first base. You know, when we're, when we're already open, when we land, we don't have any of that torque. You know, at that point, we're just throwing all arm, all upper body, which is gonna to lead to a lot more injury. So when we land and we're closed, at that point is where, you know, we can get our hips through. That way we have a good position, a good rotational power position, and can really get some extra velocity on that ball. The last component to pitching like a pro is gonna be our follow through. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. There's some a right way and there's a wrong way. You see a lot of times when guys follow through, they don't ever get that good leverage on that front leg. They don't lock that front leg out. But when you wanna, when you come and follow through, you wanna make sure you're over that front leg as much as possible and try to straighten it out if you can. The reason we do that is because the more we can get over our front leg, the more downhill action that ball is gonna have, and it's gonna make your fastball look that much quicker to a hitter. So when we come through and we go through our, our delivery, we have step three of the leg lift, and then we land, separate the hips, and finish over that front leg. We wanna make sure we are as over that leg as possible and try not to over rotate or fall off to the side. So now that we've kind of broken everything down step by step, we're gonna put it into motion for you guys. One quick thing I wanted to touch on, you know, we went over a, a lot of information so far. You know, the rockers and the pivot, the first two steps, pretty self-explanatory, fairly simple. Well, where a lot of pitchers go wrong is once they get to that leg lift and beyond. And so what we're gonna do today is make sure that we're leading our hip down the mound correctly and really getting as much velo on that fastball as we can. So when we come to our leg lift, a lot of pitchers think you wanna get down the hill. Well, how do you get down the hill? What's the most effective way to do that? You know, a lot of guys, you see them, they fly open. And once we, they fly open like that and lead with their, with their leg instead of their hip, their hips are already open. And at that point, like we mentioned, we're throwing all arm. So we want it to be just sinking down in that back leg and really utilizing our hip to get down the hill. I'm gonna show you a few drills that you can work on if this is one of your problems. First drill I'm gonna to talk to you guys is a drill to really help your back hip correlate to your lead hip so you can get down the hill in the most powerful way that you can. So wherever you are, try to find a post or a pole or something that you can work with. This is what we're working with here today. So the, what we're gonna do is if you're a right-handed pitcher, your, le your lead leg is gonna be tucked under kind of, so you're really wrapping that foot around that pole. So when we do this, here's what we wanna do. We wanna kinda of sink into that back hip. So when we, come into our, when we come into our leg lift, we can really sink in and get down the hill. This is a drill that's gonna work on that. So we wanna be here and we don't wanna be falling forward and lose our balance. We wanna really stay, stay tall and just sink into that back hip so we can get as much separation when we get back on the mound. The next drill I wanna to talk to you guys about is the hip lead drill. The point of the hip lead drill is to make sure we're taking that the progress we make from that drill and really using it on the mound. So all you gotta do is find a wall, find something sturdy and hard that you can fall into and make sure you're getting the correct hip lead. Now common, mis common mistakes with this drill is when guys get too far away or they start hitting with their shoulder. Notice in this video I'm about to show you guys, when I hit the wall, the hip is the only thing that's touching the wall. My shoulders are off, my knee and my ankles are off. I'm only leading with that hip. So that's it. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And really quickly before you go, Coach Zach and I put together a free gift for you that's going to help any pitcher at any level take their velocity to that next level. So improve your velocity a few miles per hour, as well as just keep your arms safe, healthy, and strong all year long. So this gift is 100% free. All you have to do to grab it is just click on this card right here. That'll take you to a page. All we need is your email address so we know where to send this free gift. So go ahead and do that right now. Click on this card. Go grab your free gift. Last thing, if you're not subscribed to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We're coming out with brand new baseball videos every single week and I don't want you to miss any of them. So hit that subscribe button. Go grab your free gift. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.